a place to call home as a privately owned campground approximately 20 kilometers west of Mullaney. Finding our way back is about rediscovery. As we look to find our sunshine again, we are inviting you to journey with us through the ups and the downs, through the minefield that we call life, as we look to find our way back. It is about reaching out to you, the public, reaching out and saying, you're not on your own. You are never on your own. So join us at this little campground where we continue our journey of finding our way back. This is take three of a video that I've been trying to take since this morning. And the reason why it's taken me such a long time is because I've realized that when I'm talking, um, I say, um, so that's the first one. And there's Greg peeping through the trees. Hi, Greg. Hi. I'm talking about the fact that I can't record a video without saying, um, um. this is version three. So. It is very, very hard to start recording videos when you don't have experience. And oh, um. <laughs> I didn't say um. You said and. Yours is and. No, no, no. I use um as well. I struggle with um. So where are we staying, Greg? A place called home. Is that correct? Yeah. Or a place like home. Place we like home. Check it. Yeah, we're going to uh, double check. So it is just what I would call west of uh, Mullaney off the postman's track and uh, it's it's just really really quiet it's off the beaten track excuse the pun <laughs> and it is one of those little places that i don't know you you, you would never have uh, found it uh, yourself if uh, we didn't have access to something like a hip camp so way to go guys we get exposed to these sort of places and find them and get to enjoy them. Uh, if we look behind you, and there's a tree in the background over there. <laughs> it's like everyone's going to go, which tree, Greg? <laughs> <laughs> the Dave tree. You can see uh, another group of campers in the background. Just through the there, trees. Just through the trees. And then there is the final lot right in the very back left of the property you can hardly see them through those trees and that's it uh, we're in this little corner here which is quiet and secluded almost feel a little bit like we are hidden here I don't think uh, anyone could see us from their campsites down there no. unless they happen to walk around here and stumble upon us and I think as you start to walk through you see all this tree covering so he actually said he's going to remove some more of it, I think he said. I think Just to be Lantana, safe. There's a, uh, there was a lot of Lontana in the oval, which has been removed now. And there's still some of it uh, growing through here. So yes, Is that there's it? some Lontana This is purple flower. For those who don't know, Lontana is this weed. It's got these sharp thorns on. But they, they actually have a beautiful flower on them, which is unfortunate. Yeah, I think it's part of the Bramble family, but I need to check that. So as you walk through, um, and as I said on my post, it actually looks quite dark. But that's just because of the trees that are covering it. Actually, just, it's very shady. Um, and we've got a fire going. We've got some button up on the um, the fire because um, if we're really honest, we actually forgot to put it on with the barbecue. Um, okay, there I am with my arms again. We're gonna have to work on that. So, and I'll just quickly walk to the, the river. And this is actually Mary River that's running through here. And they've actually put like a little bench that you can sit on. And um, the only downside, and it isn't um, to do with the property, there's nothing the property could do about it, is it's, it's full of mozzies and um, they're biting. Hey, we've, we've actually put some really strong 
mozzie spray on and um, <laughs> we, we ended up going sitting inside early because they were still still pretty um pretty um bitey <laughs> for want of a word so I actually was in here earlier wading uh, but you can actually swim uh, just a little bit further down uh, he said um, people do have, have been swimming I walked um, just over to the other side of there I might try and do it again tomorrow depending on the weather so I can get some pictures but it's just it's just so beautiful um, the water was fresh it's pristine it's so clear um, and it, it's drinkable apparently um, I'm not gonna test the theory I think what we will do is I think we're gonna do a competition how many herms I actually said in this video if I have to re-record it again I'm not entirely sure we'll get this video recorded so at least I just wanted to give you an idea a little bit of paradise that we've stayed in a place called home we are going to confirm that name just to be sure we get the right one because we really want to push these places out especially in times that we are in at the moment with covid um we're all living daily stresses and dealing with our own i suppose issues that come from living in covid being away from family um we've got our own health issues going on and honestly i think we just need to to get out on our own doorstep a little bit more this is literally two hours from brisbane so it's, it's more than doable and honestly if you don't have access to caravans tents you know there is so many B&B's and apartments and places that you can stay at hostels um, that are just in this area that are local and um, yeah I, I just encourage you to, to get out there and, and see what's on your doorstep you can do this as a day trip even and just come here and just see this just amazing place